swelling, headache or a rash, asthma, colitis, fatigue or gas, what will today's symptom be? My loopy life with lupus. Hey guys. <laughs> oh, I'm so out of breath. Oh, anyways, it's Monday and today was my first day at the new job. And basically, um, what we're going to be doing is just, it's going to be gradual hours. So my full shift, once I get to it, will be four and a half hours long. But we're just doing like a little bit like today I was there an hour and a half. I think tomorrow I'm going to be there two hours and then Wednesday two and a half and then Thursday three and it's just going to gradually go up just so that I can get used to the routine and how things go and also so that um, Nathaniel can get used to me and things like that. So um, so it went well. I mean, I just I basically saw him for like a little bit. And we read some stories and played and stuff with his mom. And then she put him down for his nap. And then we kind of just went over, she went over like some uh, info about the job with me. And tomorrow I'll be like, I guess, looking at the job duties and signing a contract and all that stuff. So um, it's rainy out. Um, thankfully, it wasn't like pouring rain. It was like just a drizzle. Um, and it had actually stopped raining by the time I got to my subway stop. And so that was nice because it's quite a walk. It's actually a longer walk than I thought. I thought it was going to be like a 10 minute walk, but it was about a 15 minute walk. And that was with me kind of walking quickly and rushing, which got me very, very out of breath. Um, <laughs> So I'm going to leave myself more time so that I can take my time walking and I won't have to like rush to make it there. Um, just so I can like take my time walking and if I need to like stop for a break, I can. Um, it's really weird. Like back when I wasn't on prednisone and I was taking care of Jeremy in the mornings, I... Um, right before, a few months before going to the Down East Doll Show with my mom in 2013, so the summer of 2013, I was out walking every day. And I would walk one to two hours every day. And I was doing really well with it. And I wasn't short of breath because I'd go at my own pace. Um, and so, and that's how I was like, losing weight like I lost like 10 pounds that summer and now I've gained it back plus some so I'm really trying to like get down on like eating healthier and getting exercise so this is actually going to be good um because according to my Fitbit I actually walked for 51 minutes in total today between walking to my bus stop walking through the subway station and then walking to their house from the subway station and walking back, um, 51 minutes of walking. And then that's not even including me walking home from the bus stop near my home. <laughs> so I'm probably thinking it's, it's about 60 minutes. So that's like an hour of walking. So that's good. But the thing is, is that I, I was, I like going there, um, I was rushing. <laughs> so um, and even just now, like, um, walking back from the bus stop, even though I was taking my time, I'm getting really short of breath. Um, and I do have mild asthma, but I honestly, I don't even remember when the last time was that I had to use my inhaler. So, um, so it's really weird. Like this shortness of breath, like I'm really out of breath. And so I don't know if it's just because I haven't been as physical as what I was when I was working um, with Jeremy and I was working every day. Like with Margaret, I was only working the two days a week and the rest of the week I was at home. And so 
I wasn't really going out and doing much physically. So I'm thinking it could be a combination of that. I'm out of shape because I'm, I'm not walking as much as I used to. And maybe the extra weight as well probably doesn't help. So, but I'm trying to avoid taking my inhaler. I, I just, I don't want to take any more drugs. But anyways, <laughs> so I'm just resting right now and just trying to get my breathing under control a little bit. So, um, but yeah, um, on my way home, I got a text from Nathaniel's mom saying that she finally heard back from all of my references that I gave her and that all of them were fabulous and that she feels so blessed to have me as a nanny for Nathaniel. And when we were talking today at the house, she told me something really interesting. Um, she was actually really, really surprised at how quickly he took to me because literally like I met him at the interview last Monday and we were just there for a little bit in the store because um, we were in the bookstore and we were in like the where they had the train table and stuff. And um, even then, like when he first met me, like he didn't seem nervous with me and he was, you know, showing me stuff. And then when I went to their house on the on Wednesday, he was sitting on my he came over and like sat on my lap and stuff. And she said he literally like he never does that with someone he doesn't know, like he will wave at at strangers and say hi or whatever, but he won't go near them. So she felt like super good about everything when she saw that, like when she saw how well he took to me and um, felt like, you know, he seems very comfortable with me already. And um, so I thought that made me feel really good, like to hear that. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much all that's happening. Um, I have a really bad headache right now and my jaw is like throbbing. Last night was bad. I was getting like sharp jabbing pains in my jaw. Um, it's just been really bad. I've been having to take Tylenol every night. I've been having to take a sleeping pill every night or else I can't sleep. And I've been having to put the heating pad on my face every night. Like it's just so thankfully I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow morning, 9 15 AM with the jaw specialist. And so I am going to I'm not leaving there until I have a clear cut plan as to what is going to be done about this. So hopefully he will go over whatever the lupus clinic discussed with him and what his thoughts are. And I'm hoping we will still be on the path of the injections. Um, but uh, if that's the case, I want to have some sort of resolution or answer as to when these injections are going to happen because I've we're going on May guys and I originally asked to have these injections at the end of January and I've been waiting and waiting for an OR to become available to do this um and so if this is the path like if this is still the path we're going to go with I want it like ASAP and I'm not going to be leaving that doctor's office until I have a clear cut plan and a clear cut date as to when this plan will happen. I also, you know, if, if I do have to wait X amount of time for the OR to become available for the injections, then I would hope that he could offer a temporary solution in the meantime. Um, but I'm thinking that the only other, the only temporary solution that I can think of would be the soft diet. But 
it's really hard <laughs> to do that. But um, I've just, Alex hasn't been too pleased because I've been making a lot of soups. <laughs> um, I've been doing like creamy, um, we tried last night, we made creamy carrot ginger soup and it was really good and we still have some left over for tonight and maybe even tomorrow night um and i've made creamy butternut squash soup and so these are all great because they're healthy they have your vegetables and everything in there but they are liquid so I don't have to chew anything, but the problem is that I always want to have a bagel and cream cheese with my soup, and you have to chew the bagel, so, <sighs> so anyways, he's just getting tired of soup all the time, um, but it's like, well, I don't know what else, I mean, we could have pasta, I guess, but, like, I don't know, like, what other things I could make for us that would be something that I wouldn't have to chew and something that he wouldn't get bored with. I don't know. It's, it's a really hard thing to coordinate a soft diet when you have another person that needs to eat as well. So, um, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I hope it all goes okay. And that, yeah, that we have like a clear cut, plan because I'm not leaving there without a plan <laughs> I've had enough of this so um I've been waiting long enough so that's pretty much it um I actually had a in-home massage yesterday a full body massage it was an hour long it was wonderful <sighs> so I'm feeling pretty good today in terms of other pains in my body but the joints and the headache I'm guessing maybe the rain isn't helping that matter. And also, it's supposed to be raining almost all week, guys. I'm not happy about that. Because <laughs> my joints, especially my jaw, it's mm, not going to be good. Not going to be good. But whatever. <laughs> I'm just happy that I have a job and this, this family seems wonderful and... um so it'll be nice that I can gradually ease into, you know, the hours. So, you know, it's tonight. Today I got home a bit early and tomorrow I'll be home a little bit early too. Um, until like I think by, I think they're hoping by Wednesday or Thursday of next week I'll be at the full four and a half hours a day. But they're just going to see how it goes like, um, and yeah, we're going to take it from there. So anyways, that's my little health update, job update spiel. And I don't think there's anything else. <laughs> I don't think there's anything else to tell you guys. Hmm. Nope, can't think of anything. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. So May is literally just around the corner and um, I just wanted to let all of you know that May is Lupus Awareness Month and if you're a new viewer and you weren't with me May of last year um, then you would have missed that last year for the whole month of May I made a different video every day um, pertaining to lupus. Um, I shared lupus patients stories